Okay, so if you've been struggling for years with your racket head drop, that's basically when you're coming back into the serve and that racket starts to face towards the ground, right? You see how that's pointing straight to the ground? If you're having trouble doing that, that if you keep getting stuck, up here and have a weak range of motion, I have good news for you. It's not because you struggle with your flexibility. It's just one simple tip that you need to focus on and boom, all of a sudden you've got a pretty good racket head drop. So if you're ready for that, let's get started. All right guys, so a lot of people out there think they do not have a good racket drop on the serve because they think that they're just not flexible, that they're, they're too inflexible to do it. And certainly, I mean, if you're as flexible as Novak Djokovic when he goes into a serve, that's definitely gonna help your racket head drop. I'm not saying it plays no role in it, but it's not the main thing. What, what it is, it's all about the tension in the hand and the wrist and also the way the hand moves. Is your hand coming back like this? This is why I call this the pizza move, which a lot of people, that's what they do. They flop back, so you can't really go much lower. It's gonna stop right there for everybody, all right? So if you've got this and you stop about here, it's not because of you have no flexibility, because right now I feel really tight. I feel like I can't move anymore. Watch this. If I just go this way, now all of a sudden, look at that racket drop. So I like to call this the dangle. And what it takes is just making sure that, first of all, you're in the right grip, you're in that continental grip, and that you allow your wrist to just simply fall down there, okay? And, and what you can do to really get this idea is to focus on holding in your fingertips and flipping back. And again, it's so important that you don't flip back this way, because even being loose this way, I'm super loose this way, but you can see that's a lot less flexible than that. Look how much further that goes down. I had to call this the dangle move. We want to just basically let our racket, when we get to here, we want to let the racket dangle. Okay, we just wanna let the racket just sit there. And I actually recommend that you just practice this without hitting a serve, that you practice with your fingertips, getting the racket head up, and then just lay it dangle back. This is gonna get you that nice racket drop. And then what you wanna do from here, so it flows in one consistent motion, is you then start to swing and push your hips up into the ball. So it goes like this, watch this, I'm here, I'm gonna let the racket drop, and as I feel it drop, then I'm gonna swivel my hips around, okay? And that's automatically, you see how that whip's starting to happen without me even trying, then I go up here and hit, and then come through. And that's the dangle move on the serve. That's just one of the keys to developing really good fluid serve. And so if you wanna get everything you need to know about the serve, I've got an awesome free course for you called Serving A to Z. And it's gonna help you with your racket head drops, it's gonna help you with your toss, that toss. So many people write me and say, my toss is driving me crazy. We got a great lesson on the toss. It's gonna teach you how to hit a slice serve, a kick serve. It's gonna teach you the correct, you're gonna find the, the perfect rhythm for your serve. We cover it all. There's actually 30 something videos. So this is that's not like getting two or three free videos as a nice little parting gift. It's a complete course. So if the serve is frustrating for you and you want a complete full course that I used to sell out there for about 80 bucks, you can then click the link up here and get started on that, or you can go in the description and work on that. All right, so try this out. Try out the dangle right down below. Let me know if it worked for you. And uh, if you love tennis, you might as well do yourself a favor right now and subscribe. And it'll be doing me a favor too. I'd be really grateful. Subscribe to this channel and make sure you turn on your notification bell so you don't miss another tennis instruction video. We'll see you real soon. Hey, if you're not a tennis player and you don't want my most popular serve course absolutely free, skip this video. Did you know that the serve is the most popular search inquiry on YouTube when it comes to tennis instruction? And today I want to give you my most popular course, Serving A to Z, absolutely free. This is not a joke. Are you tired of having no power on your serve? Would you like to have a little more placement and consistency on that serve? What would it do for your tennis game if you were able to walk out to your local courts and step up to the line with complete confidence and start each point with an unfair advantage because you have the best serve in the business at your local courts? So many of my students have struggled with the serve until they found my 
course online. This very course I'm about to give you for free. My name is Peter Freeman and I'm a USPTA elite professional and my YouTube channel has been voted top 10 instructional channels in the world. And today I want to give you my most popular serving course, Serving A to Z, 100% free today. This course is going to help you develop the three checkpoints on the serve everybody must master if they want to have any chance of having a good serve. It's going to be able to give you more power and consistency on the serve and we're going to get into advanced concepts like developing that nasty slice and sick kick. This course is going to dramatically cut the learning curve. It's going to save you thousands of dollars in lessons and it's going to also save you countless hours of frustration trying to figure out everything on your own. So to get instant access to this free course serving A to Z, click on this video right now. Plus, I'm throwing in a last second bonus just because I'm in a really good mood today, seven steps to a powerful serve. But you have to act fast because I'm only giving away a thousand copies. It's my way of saying thanks to the tennis community for supporting my videos. So click on the video, act quickly, and I'll see you inside the training.